Well, hello there, sewing enthusiasts. I'm Jenny T with SimpleSewingProjects.com, and welcome to another episode of Ask Jenny T, where readers get to ask me, Jenny T, a sewing-related or DIY question. Today's question is related to a continuous loop bead chain system. So if you don't know what that is, if you look at any kind of commercial establishment, like a restaurant, coffee shop, where they have windows, a lot of sun comes in, they typically will have a bead chain where if you pull it, it will lower the shades to help block the sunlight. These are commonly used for roller shades and they can also be used for Roman shades. Now, I just wanna put a disclaimer out there right now that although I used to sell this product, this bead chain system product, um, and promote it, I don't anymore. I sold that part of my business. So it's been a long time since I've been a part of the bead chain system world. And so I'm going to answer this question for um, Jan, but I just want you guys to know that I, I haven't been a part, I haven't, I'm not really associated with this anymore. So I'm, this is not a video to promote the bead chain system. This is just to offer you information. I will leave the link to the site that does sell them if you're interested in getting them. It is a commercial based site, meaning that you need to be a professional uh, workroom to get them, but they do offer them. So I will leave that link in case you're interested. So this question is all about installing your Roman shade with the bead chain system. Now, most instructions, including my instructions, give the easier way to install a Roman shade, which includes a board mount with screw eyes and then a cord lock up in the one side where then you can lift thread your lift cords through the cord lock you pull the you pull it one side to the other and it raises and lowers and locks in place that's the least expensive way to do that and by far probably the easiest however there is a, a really nice b chain system available that you can get that is a little bit more complex to install but the raising and lowering is so nice with that b chain and it's very it's it's really recommended if you have really heavy or extra wide shades, it handles the weight a lot better than having to pull on the lift cords. Okay, so that's one of the reasons why you would look at a different kind of system. Most professional uh, Roman shades that you buy in a custom window treatment store will offer that to you and charge you an arm and a leg for it, but it is really, really nice to have. You can also do it yourself, right? So. Um, so let me get to the question now that she's at, now you know what this is about. Let me go ahead and um, answer the question. So she says that she saw a few of my instructional videos out on YouTube regarding the assembly and the installation of the Roman shades for the clutch system. Now I will go ahead and put below this video in addition to the link where you can buy the systems. Again, I'm not an affiliate. I'm not going to make any money off of that. I will also list the four YouTube videos that I have Put out on YouTube that explain how to install it in case you want to look at it and check it out or understand it okay what's missing from the video collection and this is what she points out she says that she went ahead and ordered this the system in bulk from the company that I'm going to give you the link for and she's going to also make one or two small windows that will require a two cord um, set up, meaning that you're only going to have one lift cord on each side of your shade instead of multiple going across. And I had mentioned in the videos that the installation of the clutch system is a little different. And I was perplexed because so, because it's been a long time, I do remember it being different. So I went out there to YouTube and I watched all four videos that I had created. And I have to say they're pretty good. <laughs> but uh, don't, I don't say anything about a two-chord system except once I mention it. So I was stumped for a while. Jan, I just want you to know, I could not for the life of me figure out where I put information on a two-chord system. And then, then, this weekend I was dusting off my sewing machine and pulling out all these bins that had been in my garage. like and not even know what's in them. And I opened up one of them and there is my sewing machine manual, score, a bunch of other stuff. And in there is this stapled pamphlet, how to install the clutch system. Now, I must have included these with every system that I shipped. This, I'm pretty sure it's what I did. You think I remember, I just simply don't but I am pretty sure that 
this system is complex enough that it required printed instructions in addition to the video. And in here is information on the two chord system. Now, I I have to laugh because for someone like me who you know toots my own horn when it comes to making step by step instructions, I read through this and now. I was confused. Even my instructions, I was confused. But I think it's because I didn't have it in front of me, and it's been a long time since I've actually gone through the process. So I don't even have a, a clutch system in front of me to play with it to make sure that what I've written years ago still applies. So it does have the two chord system in here. I'm not going to explain it on the video because it'll bore everybody to tears. But I found this, which means that somewhere on my backup drives is the PDF of this that I can put out onto the site. So after I finish posting this video, I am going to go and dig up my backup drive and see if I can find this file and post it up for you guys. So for anyone who wants to tackle the clutch system or just to get more information on how to you know, put together a professional level Roman chain installation, you will get it through this. So that's pretty cool. So I was really, I was really excited. It was just weird timing. It's completely coincidental. I wasn't even looking for this when there it goes. Okay, so I will post that when I find it. Um, so let's see what I have to read through the rest of this here. She has a couple more questions. So by the way, just so you know, to answer your question, you would ask me if the instructions within the membership site will give will give you complete instructions on the clutch system. No, it won't. Uh, it won't. It will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to sew different styles of Roman shades, lined, interlined, sheer, and the standard uh, cord lock installation. Okay, but it won't. It won't uh, help you with the clutch system. The other thing I should you you mentioned was that your system doesn't seem to work as well as it did when you first installed it. The lift cords aren't uh, wrapping neatly. So um, you said here. I made one flat Roman shade and installed it in the bedroom. It seemed to work well for a little while. Then one side seemed to not draw up in sequence with the other, so the shade was not level on the bottom. It was weighted with a metal rod. The lift cord didn't seem to wind up as it should on the fiberglass rod at the top. Another question you mentioned installing orbs. Is this to help even out the lift cords? Okay, so first, the, the fact that the um, lift cord is not rolling up evenly tells me that it is very possible that your shade is longer than the than the fiberglass rod is allowing for the lift cord to wind. The only way this system works is that you have a fiberglass rod. I don't have anything to demonstrate a rod. Maybe this thing. Okay, you have a rod. And the lift cord, as you pull the bead chain, will wind. And it winds neatly. Um, edge to edge, if you will, nice and neatly all the way across the rod. If the lift cord starts to stack on top of each other for any reason, that's when you start to get this uneven pull on the shade. You, it's Im imperative that the lift cord evenly wind along that fiberglass rod. If it's getting junked, uh, so you're gonna wanna watch it now. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna lower everything and take a look, and then you're gonna wanna watch it and watch how it raises up to make sure that it's starting out okay and notice where it's not. And it, what happens many times is that, is that the shade is so long that there's not enough room for the rest of the um, cord to wind onto the rod and it gets jumbled up and then never really resets itself. So the best thing you can do is lower everything, slide the fiberglass rod back over towards the clutch unit, make sure that the black line is where it's supposed to be, and I think that's facing towards the board, make sure your lift cord starts at the top, like everything's kind of reset based on the instructions, and then watch it wind and see where it falls apart, and that will kind of give you a clue as to what's going on there. The orbs are just a really nice way of installing your lift cord without having to knot the lift cord at the bottom ring um, and having to fuss with the tension of the lift cord. So, and so in normal Roman shade installations, especially DIY home people like us, we just tie the lift cord at the bottom sh bottom shade ring, and everything raises up. But sometimes you might 
tie the lift core too tight and so one lift cord is not as tight as the other lift cords and you get uneven raising and lowering. So the orbs are just these little balls and you just slide them to where you want them to be. It just makes it a little easier, okay? Uh, I will also leave a, a link to the video on the orbs. You get them from the same company. I don't sell them and I don't make any money off of it, but I'm perfectly glad to share that information with you guys. The orbs are, are neat, especially when you're making a lot of Roman shades. The orbs save you a lot of a lot of time, okay? Um, so she says here, I've worked in costume, drapery, and upholstery workroom, so I have a little so so I have a little sewing experience. I'm so looking forward to creating my own window treatments. Your instructions on the Roman shades were very clear and easy to understand. You have done a very nice job in your explanations. Thank you for taking the time to answer my questions. I look forward to hearing from you, Jan. That was very nice of you. I'm so glad that you're enjoying the instructions. Um, if you have any other further questions for me, especially after watching this, please don't hesitate to email me or post on this blog post in the comments area and I will get back to you. And if anyone has any other questions just on Roman shades in general and how to make them, if you're having trouble, you need troubleshooting, I'm perfectly glad to um, help you guys out. So I hope that helps. I'm Jenny T at SimpleSewingProjects.com and thanks for watching. See you in another video.